part six of Ariana Grande Blythems. We are still in 2014. While visiting an Asian nation this week, this B plus the singer was supposed to shoot a commercial when she found out there would also be two beauty queen winners in it. She said she wouldn't shoot it. She wanted the whole commercial to herself. That would have been hard considering the other two were in it to speak their native tongue and our singer was in it to lip sync to part of one of her songs. The company dropped her and saved themselves a huge headache. That's Ariana Grande in Japan. Also, shout out to Crazy Days and Nights, aka NT Lawyer, for most of these blinds. Also from 2014, we have told you before that singers and bands make more money touring than they do by selling records or albums. Why they tour, they're always looking for ways to boost their revenues per venue. One of those offerings is a meet and greet. Fans have already paid upwards of $100 or more for concert tickets. In this economy, man, inflation has really gone out of control. <laughs> Remember when you can get concert tickets for like $100 or less? Um, will pay an additional money to meet the star and have their photo taken with them. Some people pay literally hundreds of dollars for the privilege of spending a few seconds of one-on-one -on -one time with their idol and photo proof of their meeting. This one young singer's head is getting much too big. For the meet and greet on her next tour, she wanted to charge $1,000 per person. She also did want, not want to spend the time on one-on-one -on -one photos and said she wanted handlers to herd a dozen fans at a time into a group photo with her. While her handlers vetoed the $12,000 per minute suggestion, she will still be charging an outrageous amount of money and keeping individual fan contact down to a minimum. I'm curious, did anyone pay for a meet and greet with Ariana Grande in 2014? And how much did you pay <laughs> for one picture? Next from 2014, this former B-plus list tweener actress turned singer shed, says she never did it with her former boss, but she did pose naked for him and also did things to herself for him and a couple of times took care of him manually. Ariana Grande and Dan Schneider. Oh my god, I, I need to go put rubbing alcohol in my brain. Next from 2014, so this is when Ariana was dating Big Sean. At an iHeartRadio after party this weekend, this former A-list tweener turned singer was hugging and kissing a guy who's definitely not the guy she was hooking up with last week. The kissing and groping and grinding lasted until this, the skiing ran out. The snow. 20 minutes later, she was doing the same thing with another guy. She is really young to be on the worst celebrity list and things will only get worse. <laughs> NT Lawyer called it. Next, from 2014, the other night, this A-list singer who used to be an actress had to wade through a group of fans who had been waiting for most of the night to catch a glimpse of her. She told the two bodyguards with her that if any fan got within five feet of her, she would fire them. Shortly after they got inside her hotel, she told them that fans had gotten closer than five feet, and she fired them both on the spot and turned and went to the elevators. Damn, she's cold. Part seven of Ariana Grande Blightums. We are still in 2014. This very famous female celebrity started dating a new guy within the past couple months. Again, sorry, Naya. He really likes her, but there's one aspect of her behavior that drives him crazy. She talks baby talk, not just in an intimate, sexy setting, but in everyday conversation. He tells his friends that sometimes she talks like a normal per person, but sometimes she only talks using baby talk. For example, instead of saying, I'm thirsty, she'll push out her lips in a pout and say, I want a Dwingo Widow juice. Do we have any apple juice? <laughs> I'm never gonna give, forgive myself for just doing that. At first he thought she was just kidding, but then he realized that she does it all the time, sometimes for an entire conversation. Cute or weird? Weird. It's Ariana Grande and Big Sean. This one is from the 2014 MTV Europe Music Awards. Did you catch the MTV Europe Music Awards? It was hosted by Nicki Minaj. Want to know the secret weapon that helped one non-hosting singer with their travel fatigue, weight control, and overall perkiness? Will you just take a big white pile of powder, chop it into little lines, and sniff, sniff, sniff the white away? Sniffing needs to be careful, though, because doing that stuff every day will eventually damage the voice. Her and Jimmy Fallon, man, they love to ski. Next from 2014, after one too many drinks at an AMA after party, this female singer, and that is allegedly Charlie XCX, was arguing with a friend about a younger female singer who was also at the show. Why do people think she can sing? She can't sing. She can hit the high notes most of the time, but her phrasing is bad. She can't control her breathing. Her diction sucks, and she acts like there's some sort of law where you have to riff every note. Plus, Lord told me that all of her runs get auto-tuned in the studio. Listen, I can't fucking sing for shit, so I can't speak on this one. <laughs> 
This is a Victoria's Secret Fashion Show 2014 blind item. That was the best year. I'm sorry. I love the Victoria's Secret Fashion Show. Obviously, I love girls, and that is my favorite fashion show. Um, but this is a Liam Payne when he was dating Sophia Smith blind item and Ariana Grande when she was dating Big Sean blind item. This A-list singer, while in this in his a plus list group and probably would be b minus if he ever went solo <laughs> lower than that brought his girlfriend to an event last night but it didn't stop him from getting the number of this former tweener turned singer and he was telling her that his girlfriend wasn't serious our tweener turned singer has a boyfriend but has also been known to take advantage of opportunities interesting to see what will happen this a plus list singer miss taylor swift was able to ban someone from working, but was unable to ban an A-list model from attending. So she banned Jessica Hart. She was able to ban a foreign born singer turned actress from attending, but not one of the people she hates the most from working. So she banned Rita Ora, but Taylor Swift allegedly hates Ariana Grande, but couldn't ban her from the show. Part eight of Ariana Grande blind items. Thank God we're almost done 2014. This former NFL player turned celebrity didn't seem so innocent when he asked this tweener actress turned A-list singer back to his hotel room. She declined, but he sure was pressing hard to get her there. That is Tim Tebow, <laughs> isn't he? Trying to get Ariana Grande back to his Disney World hotel room. That is so creepy. Next is from the 2014 Jingle Ball. The Jingle Ball in New York showcases many of today's most popular stars. Each singer typically performs two or three of their hits, except for Taylor Swift, who got to perform five songs. Guess which young celebrity didn't mingle with the rest during the event? She'd only speak to those who, with whom she was performing. If you weren't one of them, you didn't exist. In fact, at one point, she walked right past several singers who were greeting each other and joking around. Our celebrity averted her eyes to avoid any sort of contact and simply kept walking. What's up her butt? One of the group wondered aloud after she passed. Someone answered with the name of her current boyfriend and the rest of the group burst out laughing. Good thing our singer wasn't within earshot though, as she would have not found it funny. She doesn't seem to find anything funny. That is Ariana Grande having no sense of humor about Big Sean. Naya Rivera also didn't think it was funny when he stole her man. Also from 2014, nothing like being cheated on right before the holidays. This former A-list tweener who loves that her show was canceled so she can be the solo star she was always wanted to be, was cheated on by her B-list celebrity slash performer boyfriend who did it with a woman he met at a party in the car he was provided. The driver waited outside. The celebrity slash performer says he never lets hookups go back to his place or hotel until they get dirty for him. Apparently she was not dirty enough for him because after the deed she got out and left. That was Big Sean cheating on Ariana Grande with a rando. Okay, I'm, I'm siding with Ariana Grande in this blind item. I don't know what happened yet, but it is a Megan Trainor Ariana Grande blind item. Isn't that ironic, spy kid? What two younger divas were screaming at each other backstage at one of the East Coast Jingle Ball concerts after Diva One, who is Megan Trainor, a current two-hit wonder, occupied the dressing room meant for Diva Number Two is Ariana Grande, an almost A-list former tweener, and dumping her personal belongings all over the dressing room. Any pics you see of these two posing together like friends are staged all to hell. <laughs> we are in 2015 with the Naya Rivera Big Sean Ariana Blightum. This actress's fiance, so that's Naya Rivera's fiance, cheated on her and they broke up. He then started openly dating one of the other women. So Ariana wasn't the only one. Now he was going through some drama with this other woman. The cause of their relationship trouble, he is cheating. Again, our actress, she is deriving just the tiniest bit of satisfaction from seeing her ex and the other woman scramble to deny the allegations that he's a cheater and to pretend that the relationship is just fine. She knows the truth, the leopard hasn't changed his spots. Part nine of the Ariana Grande Blightums. We are in 2015 and we have the most savage Naya Rivera Blightum. This one is sick and twisted in a very interesting way. This B minus list mostly movie actress from that hit network show that is ending is married, but hooked up with her celebrity ex wise A list singer girlfriend was out of town. Our actress left behind an intimate piece of clothing with a sticky note in it that said, Hi Ariana, now he has cheated on you too. That is Naya Rivera, Big Sean, and Ariana. Someone send that one to Lily J. Also from 2015, so this is about Jeanette McCurdy's mom. She sounds pretty awful, um, threatening Ariana Grande. 
As far as stage moms from hell, this one is probably the worst and she's not named Dina Lohan or Kris Jenner. However, some recent actions she did might get her into legal trouble. Her daughter, an almost A-list former tweener, complained to her mom about her former co-star making fun of her on this web series and the web series What's Next for Sarah and posting some truth about her diva antics on their now canceled show. Mommy Dearest then pulled a Jerry Lewis and personally called up the co-star and threatened her that if she ever said anything bad about her daughter again, she would call up a friend of Chicago to come over to her house and break her kneecaps. The co-star was so scared, she installed security cameras in her house and hired a lawyer. I really hope she sues the pants off the mom. Listen, I know Dan Schneider wasn't a good move, but violence is never the answer. Okay, next from 2015, this is a Nick Jonas, Big Sean, Ariana Blindham. This former A-list tweener turned solo artist, so this is Nick, who is having a good year, got into an argument with this B-plus list rapper, Big Sean, who is one of the biggest tickets in town. Not anymore. Apparently, the tweener started talking smack about the girlfriend of the rapper. This would be Ariana. The tweener knows all of the guys she has hooked up with over the past couple years and told the rapper he was just a number and another step on the ladder. Did Nick Jonas lie? Did Nick Jonas lie? Speaking of Jeanette McCurdy's mom being a monster, um, Ariana Grande's mom is featured in this next blind item being a monster. The mom of this former A-list tweener turned full-time singer on tour almost got into a fight with people at her daughter's concert last week. The mom was yelling at people and threatening them if they didn't stand and cheer her daughter. The verbal abuse got so bad that people just walked out of the show. Did anyone go to an Ariana Grande concert in April 2015 and get screamed up by Ariana Grande's mom? Let me know. Another Naya Rivera blind item from 2015. This TV actress is having a little laugh over her personal life. She was very upset last year when her big musician Bo cheated on her with another girl. They broke up and he immediately moved on to dating that other girl who is a big celebrity in her own right. Although heartbroken, our actress moved on too. Now less than a year later, she is married and expecting a baby. Her cheating ex, well, he didn't fare so well. His big celebrity girlfriend just kicked him to the curb for cheating on her. I know, Naya left the note. Thank you, Naya. Our actress is having a good laugh over this one, but will likely avoid calling out Big and Bing on social media. Part 10 of Ariana Grande Blightums. And a commenter just reminded me of something that I actually think about often, especially lately. Colleen Bellinger was Ariana Grande's vocal coach and like BFF for quite a while. That speaks volumes to both of their characters. Um, we are still in 2015 and we have another Big Sean, Ariana Blightum. The breakup between these two celebrities was not nearly as smooth as was reported. One has made it clear to the other that they are no longer welcome in their city. He doesn't want to see her around town or at any club or restaurant that he likes to go to. He especially doesn't want to see her on a date with someone else. He told her that she should permanently move to another city, preferably on the opposite coast, and warned her that if she didn't, that he would make life uncomfortable for her around here. While she certainly could make the opposite coast her home base, whether or not she should is up for debate. Next from 2015, this is another one that is not aging well. Quote, show me that you are serious, unquote, is the favorite phrase of this former tweener actress turned almost A-list singer. <laughs> like, leave your wife and kid. What it means is that before she will even go out with you, she wants to see a gift. One executive wanted to go out with her enough that our singer is now the proud new owner of a Bentley. The guy didn't get a second date two nights ago when she got back to L.A. Next from 2015, this tweener actress turned successful singer made three times what she made singing the other night when she was a yacht girl with this prearranged date after one of her shows outside the US. And that was in Milan, Italy. We have our first Scream Queens 2015 blind item between Leah Michelle and Ariana Grande and buckle up because this is fucking hilarious and I'm just picturing this in my mind. This B-list mostly television actress from a recently en ended network television show, so that's Lee Michelle and Glee, has always been the biggest diva. Well, what that meant when this tweener actress turned singer turned actress showed up on set is a war. No one can get anything done on set because the two are always trying to out diva each other. <laughs> the donut licking. It's bad enough when a celebrity does one dumb thing. When they do three dumb things in less than a minute, though, it sends their PR team into hyperdrive. You can probably figure out the first two dumb things this female pop star did. The third is publicly dating a non-celebrity. For someone her age and rising stature, that's a no-no. Justin Bieber can screw no names and impregnate backup dancers behind the scenes, but he makes sure that his public girlfriends are celebrities. This pop star's team is still sifting through damage control strategies, but you should expect to see something today to counter the negative publicity she's brought upon herself. 
As of yesterday, they were still debating the merits of a downplaying, denial, or she was just fooling around versus a full admission and apology and moving on. Either way, there will be certainly a few star-spangled outfits and a new celebrity beau in her future. Dumb thing one was licking donuts. Dumb thing two was what the fuck is that? I hate Americans. I hate America. And her backup dancer boyfriend is Ricky Alvarez.